Border Protection agents off South Florida's coast constantly face dangerous duty, and just one station is riding along with them. On the seas and in the skies, U.S. Customs and Border Protection officers are safeguarding our shores. With the number of smuggling operations on the rise, their jobs are becoming even more challenging. The team's Maricela Burgos gives us this exclusive look. patrol our coast night and day and you may not even notice them. A lot of people don't see how dangerous it really is out here. Can I have you come up to the back of the boat, sir? And how much of an impact we're actually making out here. Where's the passport? We've seen an increase in smuggling operations in South Florida. With incidents on the rise, they don't take any chances if something is suspicious to them. Power cut about 50 to 60 feet. This is an inside look at the U.S. Customs and Border Protection Air and Marine Operations through their eyes. At nighttime, we're completely blacked out. Got a couple targets out here. Three miles. You won't even know. Half mile. We're coming. These agents face a unique set of challenges at night. We are using a red light to help keep this crew safe as they patrol. And once the sun rises, it doesn't mean their challenges disappear. A lot of these smugglers, they, they like to blend in with, with local traffic during the day. So how long is your trip going to be? It's getting harder to detect bad guys. That's why, you know, we try to uh, stop as many boats as we can. Where are you guys heading today? Where's your shop located? Any drugs or weapons on board? Attempts to make it into the United States, especially in this part of the country, are common. There's be a killing going on in Jamaica. A better life. But there has been a noticeable surge. The reasons for fleeing vary. CBP reports in the last seven months, agents have already responded to more than 104 smuggling events and counting that hit our shore. This is obviously not the correct process to claim asylum and, and come to the U.S. As they search by water. From the three nautical mile mark to the 12 is U.S. Customs waters. Agents are also scanning boats from the sky. How fast they're going and the direction they're headed will tell them a lot. <laughs> Seven News was embedded with several teams for four days, going as far north as Boca Raton to as far south as Key Largo. I got it on camera. Their mission is to keep crime, including drugs, from entering the U.S. If I find suspicious vessel and notify our marine unit. A critical part of these missions is the communication between agents. They are constantly communicating on board these flights and with their agents below. These smugglers don't take care of these people at all. They don't really care about um, these people at all. They just care about the money. CBP reports three large incidents between January and March. 650 migrants from Haiti alone made landfall in the Florida Keys. There's the ship there. Video shows people hanging out of a boat near Ocean Reef, one of the biggest cases recently. All of these vessels, they're jam-packing as many people as they possibly can on board. We traveled with agents to the north end of Key Largo, where you can still see some of those abandoned boats offshore. You can see here there's, there's some clothing. Uh, that each person is going to bring a, about a backpack worth of supplies. Scan the inside of some of these boats with your own eyes. It's common for, to see people with seasickness and dehydration. New pictures of different incidents give more insight into the conditions people are traveling in. Unfortunately, a lot of people lose their lives out here in these rough seas. We always think about the emotional side of it. You know, people wanting to come here into the country and have an opportunity to work, right? And you have to think about the opposite side of that. There's people here that are being deceived and forced into labor, into conditions that they don't want to be in. Which is why agents keep training and patrolling. Yeah, do you mind if she takes a look around the boat? Immediately questioning anyone, they determine they need to investigate further. If everything's okay, we'll go back up there and return our IDs and their registration, caught them loose. And they do this with the help of other agencies. Uh, raise my suspicions. Agents stopped and boarded two boats while we were with them. Have you been stopped by the police on the water? No. Never. They say while at least one passenger aboard both of these boats had a criminal history that included smuggling, this time... Do I think we have a crime right here right now? Everything checked out. If we don't dig, 
nobody else is gonna. They say their duty is to protect our coast. All right, let's rock and roll. Our main job is basically protect our na and nature and the, the people living on it. Mayor Celebergos, 7 News 19. The number of landings has now increased to 120. Agents say compared to last year, they have seen a more than 300% increase in maritime smuggling events.